Uh, today I would like to make some fruit tart. We have uh, two different type of the fruit tart. One of them is uh, when you get a graham cracker or, a, or a just a plain biscotti and you grind it, put the sugar and butter on it and then you put them around your um, tart pan or you could do shortcut and buy one of this. You could get them in individual serving or you could get the one round one. Uh, it comes in the regular flavor and the, the chocolate. And then again, another shortcut for a fruit cut is a French vanilla pudding jello. Um, I get the type, uh, it's non cooking. You just mix it with the milk and put them in the refrigerator. That is a very good shortcut. For this, you're gonna follow the box direction, which is right here in the bottom. I require two cup of the milk. And that's what I'm gonna do, follow the direction on that. And this is a two cup of the milk for this one. And then for a fruit tart, obviously we need fruit. You could do raspberry, strawberries. You could do a strawberries. You could do some kiwi, uh, you could do mix, you could do some kiwi and the raspberry, maybe mango or uh, dragon fruit, which that would be look really pretty, uh, blueberry or any other thing you like. I, the blackberry would be nice to you. Banana, it would be nice if you do just banana. And then uh, when I put them together on the top, I use uh, apricot glaze. Means I'm gonna warm this a little uh, on microwave with uh, like a tablespoon of the uh, water. And then I brush it over it to be shiny. Or you could make some a strawberry jello. And then when it's almost it's about to thicken it. You brush it over your strawberries and fruit and giving it a, another layer of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna start with my uh, French vanilla pudding, which I use the packaging, so it saves me a time. If I wanna do any time of any type of the cream, like uh, cream vanilla or um, cream patissier, uh, it would take about. 30 to 40 minutes over a stove. This is only takes five minutes. So it's a very good fast and a shortcut. That was my two cup of the milk. I used the whole milk organic and this is a one package of a small size French vanilla jello and I'm gonna mix it. I mix it for two to three minutes according to the box and look how smooth it is and I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator when I put them in my tart cups okay I have my fruit washed skinned and sliced this is my kiwi strawberry blueberry mango raspberry a dragon fruit, uh, so whatever you like. The peach is nice, apricot would be good, blackberry would be not good, or you could do like a just banana or just mixed berries. I like variety of color. And uh, so I opened my package of graham crackers, which I said is my shortcut. Six individual boxes. You see how easy it is? You don't have to go through to do all that. And this was my French vanilla pudding, which I made from packaging. You see, it's a little taken. See that? Um, I'm gonna scoop it with the ice cream scoop inside my uh, graham cracker cup. Just gonna give a little base for my fruit to sit in it. You should put enough to keep that graham cracker moist, but don't put too much uh, because you want a space for your fruit so you can do whatever fruit you like inside it. Let's see, I kind of like to have 
a full a strawberry maybe a very nice size of kiwi a dragon fruit a raspberry and maybe a blueberry here maybe I can feed a little piece of mango this is what I made of course you could choose however you want you could make it only with one fruit or mixed fruit I'm gonna put and if it's a little extra I'm gonna remove so it has a nice bed for my fruits let's see this time maybe I have a nice a slice of mango kiwi maybe a little a strawberry you could just play with it to the point it come up the color you like the way you like to present it and couple blueberry then you can wipe up excess cream from the corner you could either save it like that which it look rustic or you can whip the cream the way I showed my other video I'm making a whipping cream and, and just cover it with whipped cream okay one little scoop let's see kiwi raspberry dragon fruit and blueberry to make a space for my mango oh look at that isn't that cute A little mango here little mango there Just, do you remember the strawberry I made the strawberry jello um, I said you could do either apricot glaze or you could do a strawberry jellos I kind of like the flavor on this one too so I'm gonna do some of them with tap of strawberry jellos and I'm gonna do some of them with the apricot glaze particularly over the red stuff this <clears throat> strawberry jello gonna be very nice look at that My dog is down there looking for gravity. He really likes to have some strawberry right now. This is one tablespoon of apricot jam. I put one teaspoon water in it and I put them in the five second microwave. And this is how I'm doing the glaze to make my fruit tart shiny 
Remember, you could just whip some cream and put on top of it. That would be very nice. Who wouldn't like whipped cream in there? fruit tart you see how pretty it is it makes the fruit look fresher for a longer you kind of have to eat this though very quickly because it's so nice as long the fruit is still fresh so I recommend the same day serving I'm gonna show you all of them individually and then if you made it the way you think oh it has a little gap or something you could fill it up with a, another a piece of fruit or cover it with whipping cream look this one is kind of loaded see that so cute it has dragon fruit it has mango, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry. This is the other one. That's it. It's ready. Gonna put them in the refrigerator for maybe 10 minutes and then you can serve it. I'm gonna make some whipping cream on the top. This is my organic heavy whipping cream. Let me show you. And uh, you add sugar as much as you desire. It depends how sweet you want it to be. I mixed it a little and I'm gonna add one teaspoon of organic vanilla extract in it okay then I'm gonna add a little powdered sugar I'm not gonna make it too sweet Okay, I whip the cream with a uh, powder sugar and vanilla. It's uh, very good for decorating. Look at look at this. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. How stiff is this? Now I'm going to transfer this here because I want it to have it look pretty. And this is my fruit tart and this is my fruit tart look how pretty it is I'm gonna put some whipped cream on it now okay um, I put my whipped cream uh, right here I have it all here I have a decorative tip on top of it and I am gonna decorate it with a little whipping cream. You could cover the whole thing or you could just put it partially however you feel like it. Just want to make it more desirable. Hmm. And you can put a little 
a green mint on top of it for extra decoration or you can put some um, nuts on top of it some people like to decorate it with the mint well I'm Persian I like pistache gonna decorate my whipped cream with the pistachio isn't that cute wow very very cute I like it let's see it close by see this What do you think? Look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna test one. See how it is this become. Let's see. Oh. The crust is crunchy. The fruit and the cream is soft. Some of the fruit is tangy with the sweetness of the vanilla custard it's a great balance together the crunchiness and the softness the sweet and the tangy it works very well it's not too sweet it is really good if you use the fruit which they are not all sweet like a mixture of the sweet and tangy a Kiwi is a little tangy uh, and mango is a sweet. A strawberry is kind of between. It depends what type of strawberry you get. Blueberry is the same. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's tangy. It is really, really nice. I really like it. Hmm. I finished it. Thank you very much. And let me know what you think. 